I'm going to be revealing the product that made me $10,429.21 in just 24 hours. Oh, and did I also mention that it was through dropshipping? The best part is that this was all just a few short months ago. And instead of waiting till the end of the video, here's what the product is. Essentially, it's a pheromone roll-on oil. And if you guys don't know what pheromones are, it's what us as humans, you know, both male and females release naturally that makes us attracted to the opposite gender. So this product is made for women and once it's rolled on, once it's put onto the skin, it can go ahead and attract men. Okay, I think I'm very generous and kind for doing that. However, you still want to go ahead and watch this entire video because I'll be covering on how I found the product, how I beat my competition, and what you all want to know, how much I exactly profited not only for that day, but overall while running this product. Oh, and really quickly, yes, this might sound just a little crazy, but if you're thinking of starting a new Shopify store, you can now sign up on to Shopify for only $8 a month for 90 days if you do utilize my link in the description down below. I'm not too sure on how long this promotion will last for, so go ahead and take advantage of it. So, how did this all happen? Let's get into it. I initially found this product through one of my favorite product research strategies out there when it comes to TikTok, and this is absolutely free for anyone. This is called the burner method. Essentially, you open up a brand new TikTok account, and the sole purpose for this TikTok account for you to just go ahead and lay your eyes on different products. So once you go ahead and open up that TikTok account, scroll through your news feed, or in other words, your for you page, and every time you come across an e-commerce ad or a dropshipping product, like it, engage with it, click on the call to action button go through their funnel so on and so forth this will essentially tell the TikTok platform its algorithm more specifically that you are an engaged buyer to the platform and as a result it'll show you higher quality ads with great potential winning products so I recommend doing this at least for a few hours a week and I almost guarantee that your for you page will be filled with great products so once I found this pheromone oil I saw that there are only two pages running it organically right and they were doing pretty decent with it and I also also saw that there was about one advertiser selling it through paid advertising and how I was able to verify this was through one of my favorite tools called PP ads I actually made an entire video on how I utilize PP ads to further validate competitors extract data and utilize that to my advantage click on that video right over here once you finish watching this this meant that there was a lot of market share left for this product as a rule of thumb I tend to not test a product you know really move forward with it and spend my time energy and money if there's about seven Seven to eight advertisers behind that product seven to eight competitors behind that product somewhat at scale in this case sure you may get a few lucky sales here and there but the scalability let alone the longevity will definitely be very limited when it comes to these types of products so point is ladies and gents you don't have to be a pioneer you don't have to go ahead and reinvent the wheel so to say as long as it's working for a few people even if it's two people you can go ahead and swoop right in and make it better and that's exactly what I did when it comes to testing products right it can be any product and this is exactly how I started out for the pheromone oil I always test on something called general one product stores this is neither a general store nor a one product store Bro, what are you talking about man it's more so of a hybrid store right it's one of the best and most efficient ways to test new products when it comes to Shopify dropshipping and the reason I say that is because it allows you to stay flexible right it allows you to test multiple products in different niches without having to change any of the brand assets such as the logo or anything like that. Now, granted, once you find something that's really working, that's, you know, established its proof of concept, you can no doubt transition to a one product store that's really kind of honed around that one single product. And this is exactly what I did after the day two mark of testing this product. This essentially encompassed that authority around my store and it really gave a sense of confidence and trust when customers did land upon it. So here you can see a quick glimpse of the overall website, the product page, but doing this really made me look like the OG of the product and as a result increase my conversion rate by the end of that first week. Now, despite having a pretty sexy website, a nice looking website, the main thing is the offer. That is solely is what's going to make that customer pull that trigger at the end of the day. Now, it's your job to really recognize the nature of the product and decide this. So hear me out. For something super low ticket like this, my private agent quoted me $3.90 per unit landed and $5.50 for two units from a single order, which means if a customer ordered two, it would be $5 
$3.50, not $3.90 times two. So obviously I was saving money here, right? And what I did was I took advantage of this deal from my private agent or my supplier. So no brainer, right? Go ahead. I'm waiting to see if you guys can guess on what my offer was. Comment down below. I decided to set a buy one, get one free offer. Implementing something like this would definitely benefit the customer as they're getting the bang for their buck, but it will also benefit me as it would increase my AOV, in other words, my average order value, and also it would lower my cost of goods. You see, you want to indirectly squeeze as much out of your customers as much as possible and really make them think at least that they are taking advantage of you. Make that offer offer irresistible. So at the end of the day, is night. I'm just kidding. So at the end of the day, even though I was selling two units for $19.95, I still had a healthy markup of about 4x for the overall package of the product. Just so you know, I recommend having a markup of at least about 2.5x to, you know, keep some healthy margins to really have that cushion. And if you were wondering, yes, I was offering free shipping when it comes to this. And the reason I do this, what I'm talking about is offering free shipping to my customers is because now, especially there's behemoths like Amazon doing this with Prime. So customers absolutely love this so this is all great and stuff but there's still one more puzzle piece missing and that is a great TikTok ads testing strategy now I don't want to make this into a full-blown TikTok ads tutorial video but just on the surface on the basis let me explain and reveal on how my structure was how my setup was when it came to testing this product initially essentially I started out with one ABO campaign ABO is ad set budget optimization and I had five ad groups within the campaign all five of these ad groups were essentially the same. What I also like to do is test about three to six creatives per ad group. So each of the ad groups will have the same three to six creatives, but they will all be catering to a different audience, right? So this is typically on how I like to set it up. And I like to have each ad group at about a $20 budget. So 20 times five, that is a hundred dollars total. I will be spending on that first day for a product test. Now, if you do want to see me set up a campaign for a product step-by-step, Step, click by click that you can go ahead and follow for yourself click on that video right over here just make sure you guys do finish watching this video first now you may be wondering on why this store only ran its course for about three months despite having a very solid base and foundation front-end systems and back-end systems here's why let's talk about the downfall you see there's just going to be some products that fall into that gray area and this was one of them if you haven't tested a lot of products in the past before you know this is probably something that you haven't noticed yet but keep on listening I knew from my experience that it was going to be a risky one due to the nature of the actual product I mean think about it logically it has to do with physical sexual attractions and things of that nature you have to be really careful with products in this micro niche and sometimes even health and wellness products as well they can definitely raise some red flags when it comes to these kinds of advertising platforms after about a few weeks of smoothly running this product you know TikTok started to suspend my ad account ban my creatives just reject a bunch of stuff sometimes it would be the domain or the landing page that would get flagged again sometimes it would be only the creative sometimes it would be both so I kind of started getting into this vicious cycle in terms of tackling this stuff head-on and it would work but again uh, just a few days afterwards the same thing would happen again and again and again I did try to overcome this by removing certain wording in my creatives on my landing page on my overall website also changing my offer and you know my target angle and stuff like that but at the end of the day it really wasn't that profitable it just wasn't the same it's just one of those products that you kind of have to be very meticulous about right very clear about to your potential customer in terms of what it does how it works and really who it's for despite all these hurdles on that day I ended up profiting two thousand four hundred thirty dollars and fifty five cents which was pretty much my highest day of course that was after cost of goods ad spend and transaction fees and then overall this product generated me a hundred eighty six thousand five hundred thirty six dollars and 74 cents with a whopping 4.69 percent conversion rate i know i know i probably could have scaled this product to millions in the multi seven figure range but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Have fun with the process. Learn, improve, and grow. And more importantly, I would say always be the student because after each product test, after each product scale, I promise you, you will learn something new to implement for the next time. So yeah, it's true. Good things always take time. Until the next one, your boy's out. Peace.